was the third exercise in the hip exercise program number two. Uh, this exercise is called a forward side and back reach. <clears throat> now, um, let me just show you what that exercise looks like and the name will make much more sense to you. This is the forward side and back reach. I have just a couple little tips, rules for this exercise. Uh, that way I know you are performing this exercise correctly. Uh, the way I want you to perform it, since I can't be in the room with you, nagging you, telling you how to do it, uh, I need to give you these uh, uh, couple little rules just so I know that you're performing it right. Uh, so with this exercise, this is your starting position. You're going to stand on your bad leg. Your uh, good leg is just um, uh, bent at the knee, toe just barely uh, touching the ground. So uh, most or all of your weight when you're doing this exercise will be on your bad leg. All right, so I said it's a forward side and back reach. That's literally all it is. Your good leg is what I call your reaching leg. Uh, these are some of my favorite exercises. Um, they work uh, well for um, all my uh, patients that with um, ankle, hip, and knee problems. Um, these are very common uh, exercises. So. Uh, I think you'll like these. Most of my patients really enjoy doing these exercises. Uh, they work on your strength and your balance. So you're killing two birds with one stone, which that's even better. Uh, so let me show you. This is a forward reach, side reach, and a back reach. That's all that is. Now, a couple rules. Uh, when you reach with that leg, I want you to, especially when you reach forward, your heel is going to stay as close to the ground as possible. When you reach to the side, your toes stay as close to the ground as possible. Try not to touch the ground. And when you reach back, again, toes are staying as close to the ground as possible the entire time that leg is reaching. That way, I know that your bad leg is bending and straightening like I want it to. If you don't keep your toes close to the ground, you can simply just reach out with your leg and your bad leg does nothing. It's just uh, stationary. It's not bending like I want it to. So let me show you all together. Um, once to the forward, once to the side, and once to the back counts as one repetition. Again, that's forward. Heel stays as close to the ground as possible. To the side, my toes stay as close to the ground as possible, and to the back. Right. Each time you come back to that middle position, you can touch your toe down uh, in that starting position if you need to. If you don't need to, if you have pretty good balance at this point, just try and go straight through, only touching down when you need to. So let me show you that from the side. Forward reach, side reach, and back reach. Let me show you from this side. Forward, side, back. Now with these exercises I want you reaching as far as you possibly can as long as you're not losing your balance uh, and it doesn't cause your typical hip pain. So that is the forward side and back reach. Uh, like I said one of my favorite exercises, great exercise for strengthening and balance uh, for your hip. Uh, when you do that exercise I want you to um, do three sets of 10 repetitions. Uh, I know that sounds like a lot. Your uh, leg muscles and even your butt muscles are going to be tired after performing three sets of 10 repetitions. But if you can do that many, definitely do that many. Uh, that's what those hip muscles need at this point. Uh, so there you have it. And uh, just continue to view the rest of the videos uh, in this program and get started. Print uh, the uh, written directions of all these exercises so that way you have the videos. Uh, and you have um, a, uh, something written that you can go by so that uh, just another uh, way to remember the exercises and make sure you're doing them correctly.